Hi, it's Pierre. This is a quick video to show you how to add a form to your website that lets people enter information that you're trying to collect and then um, and then I'll show you how to take that information and display all the results on a, on a different page so that people can enter all their information and everybody can see all the results uh, without you having to collect it all. So the first thing you do is you create, you go to do Google Docs, docs.google.com, create a form. By the way, this video is made in March 2012, so it's might uh, hopefully still works uh, whenever you're watching this. Here's the form. I'm going to call this test form. You can follow the instructions here. I'm just going to give a very quick example. Say you're collecting your list of organizations. So I'll just uh, say, what's your organization name? And uh, now let's just say our organization details. Just as an example. Then you go to more actions. Once you've added all your form elements, you go to more actions, embed. This is going to give you a embed code here, which you're going to hit copy and then cancel. Now I'm going to go to my website and Create a page for this, or a post, test form, HTML, I'll put, uh, just paste the embed code in there, and hit publish. Next you want to go into form again and then say see responses spreadsheet and this is going to be the details that are entered so what you want to do here is go to share click on that and then click change make it public on the web save done. Then you go to file, publish to the web, click on start publishing, and down here in this drop down you want to say HTML to embed in a page, and this will give you another embed code which you copy. And we'll go back to your website, create another new post called uh, test form results, HTML, paste, publish. So now we've got two pages. First is test form so you can direct people to this web page this is the first one we published with the actual form itself so in here I'm going to say organization name Pierre's test organization and then in the details test and then you're going to click submit it says your response has been recorded and this doesn't update instantaneously but if you wait a minute we should find that the the other page has the results, and I called it results. And there you go. So I entered a, my test organization in the other page, and now it's showing up on this page with the timestamp, the organization name, and the, the details. So you can use this to, to collect pretty much any information, 
and show the information to the same group you're collecting it from without you having to actually collate all the responses and publish them separately.